Send it You're back being down a to the first place. Do you not understand? All right. For two minutes, he can't pick up his daughter? No, that's not a parking all right, spot. All right. Okay. Can you move? And, and you're not in a parking spot. You're actually partially out in the fire lane. So let, let's be on that. How about we do that? No, you're entitled. That's right, because I'm white. We rule. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you. That's you. That's you, right? She said, that's right. I'm white and we rule. She backs away. Remember, she's arguing with them about parking in a spot that she claims they should not have parked. They actually are apologetic about this in the beginning. Saying, listen, it was just for maybe a minute, two, we apologize, etc." I want to take you back to the beginning. Here it is. The, the many, state lost it. How many have you Man, He's where? Not my property. He's Man. leaving. He doesn't live here. He can't leave until I move, and I'm not ready I, to move. I here. wasn't here, but for 30 call seconds, I walked in to call pick him. up my daughter. Call here, call him. You're not supposed to stand or park in somebody's driveway. You are trespassing. Ma'am, it's in front of a building. I did not know. You my car. Driving. My car was running the entire time. No, but I leased that. Okay, okay. that's fine. We but didn't know what that. What apartment do you live in? Don't I'm worry not. about it. I did not know. I did not know. I didn't park in a handicap. You don't know. My car was running the whole time. I was here for less than two minutes. So I can go to your house. I walked in. Ma'am, I already apologized. I already apologized. And what you're saying, don't ma'am you. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm not doing anything else. I'm trying to back out. I picked up my daughter. I was here for two minutes. Okay, I've been parked for five. So you have Ma'am, you have not been parked for five. You have not. He just got here to pick up his daughter. How long have from you my been house. here? A couple minutes, right? A couple minutes is two, which is what I said I was parked here for. That's here. not five. Ma'am, I'm leave? trying to leave. Well, I'm so trying you want to get home. So get home then. Well, you're I here. can't because you're, you're in my way. You're in my way. I want to back up. You being a killer. This is my property. It's, this whole contract is not your property. I'm no, not trespassing. I lease this garage. Okay, this and that's why I'm trying to move. And I'm trying to move. move. You you you're down being there a killer. Do you not understand? All right. For two minutes, he can't pick up his daughter. No, that's not a parking all right, spot. All right. Okay. Can you move? And, and you're not in a parking spot. You're actually partially out in the fire lane. So let, let's be on that. How about we do that? No, you're entitled. That's right, because I'm white. We rule. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you. That's you. That's you, right? Ma'am, I see your true colors shining through. You see, that's really what the argument was about. It was exposed in the end. Now, if that part did not happen, you could make assumptions. You can have an opinion. You can utilize what we call contextual evidence, circumstantial, and say she just wanted to make an argument happen. The men, the gentlemen, they were very respectful. They explained the why, apologized for the inconvenience. And if it would have been left at that, which by the way is pretty normative when somebody says, hey, you did something that you're not supposed to do. Now, yes, it's possibly petty if it's 30 seconds, but maybe technically correct. They apologized according to the narrative here. And then at the end, truth is revealed. The racial dynamic becomes the forefront. Well, if that part wasn't in there, you could not conclusively say a racial element was involved. Uh, there is no privilege or there should not be a privilege just because you have white skin. Uh, if you are parked illegally, madam, you're parked illegally. If they did something uh, illegal or parked illegally, they parked illegally. Deal with it as it is. Go into the racial element. Highlighting that basically you're superior because of your white skin and you can do things that they cannot do. Well, that'll land you on this show every time. Uh, and we do this as a public service. For you, Karen, to provide an opportunity at reflection and correction. I hope you accept it as presented.